Hi everybody, welcome to our online ICT lesson review. Today we are going to be doing a lot of interesting things. We are going to be learning how to use the printer, we are going to be learning how to use the scanner. We're talking about the scanner, however, I am still going to take us through paint package and I'm going to teach you how to draw a few input devices and output devices using the paint application. Now, what is the lesson objective? We're going to be able to differentiate between the input device, processing device, and output device. We're also going to be able to draw some computer parts using paint application, and then we will learn to use the scanner and the printer. So what are we going to be drawing? We will learn to draw the system unit. We will learn to draw the keyboard. And then if time permits, we will learn to draw the complete computer system. So let's start by drawing some of these computer parts. So the first thing you should always do is to press the Windows button on your computer system. And this is my Windows button or the Start button. So you select the Start button. And then when you select the Start button here, it's going to bring this pop-up box. Then you type Paint, P-A-I-N-T, P-A-I-N-T to pop up the paint application here and this is my paint application now what is the next thing the next thing is i like to draw the system unit so to draw the system unit i'm going to come to the shapes to here and then i'll select the rectangle shape and then i will draw the system unit so i'm drawing this shape the next thing is, I'll go back to the rounded rectangle. Don't forget, I am using the rounded rectangle this time around. I will draw something like this. So this is the CD or DVD ROM. Then the next thing is, I'll go to the oval shape. I will draw the power button here. And then the next thing is, I'll go to the rectangle shape. I will draw the USB port. I will click the rectangle tool again. I will draw another USB port. So I have two USB ports. So this is a system unit. This is very simple. I'm sure you all can draw it. If you if you miss it, you can pause this video, rewind a little bit watch how i do it and then do it in that manner i'm sure you find very easy now the next thing i want to draw is the keyboard i'll pick the rectangle tool again i will draw i'm sure i've drawn this for you before so i'm going to do that again so i will draw this shape i'll go back to the rectangle tool again and then i will draw the space button and then the next thing is I'm going to pick, because of time, I might not be able to start drawing all of the keys in this manner. But you can do it yourself, Sha. You can try this out. I might not have the time to draw all this. So instead of that, I will just pick the brushes and then I could just be clicking. You know, on the keyboard, we have several keys. So all of these dots will just serve as my keys keys on the keyboard now don't forget like i said i'm doing this because of time if i'm going to start drawing the keyboard the way it should be it would take all of the time for this lesson so this is what the keyboard looks like then the next thing i want to draw is the monitor so i'm just go, going to use the rectangle tool again so you can see you can use the rectangle tool to draw as many as possible objects and then the next thing is i will draw this again i've drawn this in our last class i'm only doing it again in order to emphasize so i'm sure that if you did not learn how to draw these things or these computer parts in the last video you'll be able to do it in this video so you can see i have drawn the keyboard i've done this drawn the system unit i have drawn the monitor so these are some of the parts of the computer system now the next thing is i want to teach you how to print your document so to print your document 
the first thing you do is to make sure you have a printer and then you ensure that your printer is connected to your computer this is my printer cable this is my printer cable so i am connecting my printer cable to my computer system make sure you also have a printer so as you can see i have a printer here this is my printer so my printer can print any document at all so this is my printer and then my printer is connected to my computer system already just like i showed you the next thing is we are going to try to print the document how do i print the first thing is you locate and left click the file button here or the file menu it will show different options then you will see the print option you select the print option it's going to ask you to select which of the printers that you want to use so there are several printers here but there's a particular printer that is marked with green icon it means that is a printer that is active on this computer the next thing is is asking me the number of copies to print so i want to print just one copy the next thing is is asking me for reference print to file fine printer we don't need all of that so the most important thing is that you select the number of copies you want to print then the next thing is how many pages do you want to print we only have one page so we could just leave it as all you're seeing that this other part is inactive so we can't use them but all is okay so we we'll just click on print immediately you click on print your document is going to be printed so watch as the printer print the document so the printer is trying to print the document if we check this part of the printer you will see that the paper is going to come out of the printer So my document has been printed out so you can see we have printed out our document and now you can print a document you can see so it's as simple as abc you can print your document so easily if you have a printer at home you can try that out however if you don't have a printer at home sorry god will provide mommy and dad will buy one for you however for this class, I have an activity that I want you to do for me, which will involve you printing out some of your documents. Okay, so what is the activity? You have to use the paint application to draw three examples of input devices and output devices and then print them out just like I have explained to you. So draw three examples of input device, output devices and print them out. So you have learned to draw the keyboard, you have learned to draw the printer, you have learned to also draw the monitor. Now the last thing I'm going to explain before, I, before we go today is the scanner. How do we use the scanner? The scanner is an input device that helps you to send your soft, docu soft copy, your hard copy document into the computer system and convert hard copy to soft copy. So for instance, this document i want to scan it into the computer system i could easily put this particular document back into the printer now my printer here is a three in one printer it can photocopy it can print and it can scan if i want to scan my document i will open my printer here i'll place my document in this part of the scanner i'll cover it gently on the computer system there will be a part where you can easily scan so you could just type scan and then the computer system will give you the application where you can the, the application where you can use to scan the document and then the next thing is for you to click new scan and then Okay, so my system is having a little challenge with this scanner, kind of, that's why it won't scan. But it is just this process. Put your document in the scanner, open the scan application, then click the scan button, and then you click OK. And then automatically, the computer system will scan the document, or the document will be scanned into your computer system.
So basically, this will bring us to the end of today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed today's class. And then don't forget to um, don't forget that there's going to be a quiz, um, quizzes that I'll be dropping at the end of this video. Make sure you practice the quiz activity. I want to see your name on my scoreboard next week. I'm going to show you this leaderboard of all those who scored the highest point in my quiz. So see you next week. I hope to see your name on my leaderboard. Bye for now. See you.